Born in Vishakhapatnam, Shashir enjoyed spending the time outdoors, traveling and swimming. His love for the sea brought him to the merchant navy. He has cruised through the seven seas. And the tragedy of it all is that the same water that once gave him so much joy has now taken away his independence. One poolside party, he fell into the pool and banged his head on the bottom, sustaining a spinal cord injury. He couldn't feel his body anymore. He was left paralyzed. It took him years to get back his lost confidence. Now, he continues his adventure sports, having recently done paragliding and scuba diving. Now, how will he get up there? What disables him the most is the built environment and not his body limitations. Many are born with disabilities, while some acquire it later due to health conditions, accidents, or simply old age. When we look at someone who is disabled, we somehow only focus on their limitations, that the person cannot see, cannot hear. What we don't see is their abilities and what actually is limiting them. At the age of 17, I started experiencing the same. I was diagnosed with a rare genetic condition called muscular dystrophy. It's a condition that affects my movements due to weakness in upper and lower limbs. It is progressive in nature, which means it worsens with age. For now, I can walk independently but maybe in future, I might need to use a wheelchair. Before, I used to do mountain treks. Now, I need to find out. And it's a huge battle for me. Before, I could easily step out of my house without any worries. Now, I need to find out, is there an accessible transport? How many floors the building has? How many steps? Is there a rail to hold or a lift to go? And still, many times I might have to cancel my plans. Later, I met other people living with similar conditions. And I was surprised that a few struggled to walk and balance, while a few were already using a wheelchair. This was when, in 2019, I founded Ayushkama Foundation, working for the welfare of muscular dystrophy people. And then, in 2020, came another shocking news for me. My younger brother got diagnosed with the same condition. It was tough for me to accept that he had to struggle through all that I do. But it also gave me a push as an architect, I had to do something about it. I wanted to remove the barriers that existed. And you know that in my architecture school, I was never taught about barrier-free designing. I had to figure it out myself. I researched more and more, and I found out that only 3% of public buildings have become accessible in India. And you might... Uh, and. Uh, You'll also be surprised that more than 25% of the entire population needs access to universally designed spaces. You might wonder, what actually is universal design? It's a design that can be accessed, understood, and used to the greatest extent possible by all users, despite their age, size, ability, or disability. Say, for example, a lift is now a universal design, as it can be used by a person who is using a wheelchair, a person who is using a crutch, a child or an elderly, a pregnant woman or, somebody, or a woman with a stroller, or even somebody who recently met with an accident. I researched, and I uh, remember whenever I asked any restaurant owner uh, about accessibility, I was told 
we don't have any disabled customers. Why do we need a ramp or a lift? And the question is, where are these people with disabilities? We don't see them in public often. Is it that we are afraid to venture out or other circumstances limiting us? I dig deeper and I found out that the accessibility laws and standards, they exist, but they're not implemented properly. Key elements such as ramps, lifts, accessible toilets, signages, they're often overlooked. And uh, this usually leads to unusable features and a wasted budget. And one of the major reasons is lack of awareness amongst the key stakeholders like architects. And this was when I met Peter Gibson. He had known accessibility because he traveled with his wife, who uses a wheelchair. As a co-founder, I joined him to develop Enable Me Access. At EMA, we facilitate the use of accessibility in the built environment. We have three programs concerning three different stakeholders. First program, we, use, we train the designers, architects and engineers on accessibility standards and laws. We give them an experiential learning. An activity we do with them is to make them experience different disabling conditions, like using a wheelchair or being blindfolded. And then they are made to design a toilet as per their own needs. We also give them the tools for accessibility assessments. We give them the realistic solutions for retrofitting as well as new buildings. Second program we do is to identify the gaps in the legal framework. We work with the government on advocacy and uh, enforcement of laws. We plan to develop an online platform that works for rectifying the compliances in the building plans at the stage of approvals. You might know that last year, the member of parliament, Shashi Tharoor, he met with an accident. And it was only then when he found out that the parliament building is not accessible. It took him an hour to enter this building. And this is what gave me an idea to design Enable Me Access Race. It's our annual event where we will be where we'll be inviting the politicians, the real estate developers, and, uh, and uh, the designers, and also people with disabilities to come together. We'll make them simulate into different conditions, like getting old, or simply using a wheelchair. And they'll be asked to explore the whole city for one day. And this by this, we, they will be rewarded, and also filmed by the media. This is how we plan to make accessibility more attractive and visible. Our goal is to have people like me travel without any barriers. with our vision of a world accessible for all. Every infancy, childhood, or old age, an accessibility battle we have all to wage. And disability can hit us any time, for many in our very prime. For enabling access, join us in our call to create spaces that equally benefit all. In unity stride, let Inclusion bloom, a world accessible where all hearts have room. Where kids freely play, blind, easily navigate. Where to be mothers move about, not at all afraid. Where the elderly and disabled can independently roam. Where the world for you and I, an accessible home. Thank you. <laughs>